This screencast will cover the basic features of Google Chrome, the web browser made by Google, and what we use in our district. You can see I'm starting here at our web portal, and the first thing I'd like to point out here are tabs. It opens with a tab, but if I want to open up a second tab, I can hit this little button right here, new tab, and say if I want to go to the school website, I can now toggle between two different websites. The keyboard shortcut for this is to hit Control T, and another tab will open up. So if I wanted to go to like CNN.com, for example, it would pop right up. Um, so these are tabs. Into closed tabs, you hit the little X button. You also have over here your key buttons, the home page. If I click on this, it'll bring me to the home page, which if you are on a district computer or logged into your Doe account, uh, that will be the portal. Um, reload, so if you want to reload a web page just to make sure that you have the most common information. Backwards and forwards buttons. And right here is the all important Omnibar. It's not just a place where you put in uh, website URLs, um, but it's also where you can search for things. So if I wanted to look for, I don't know, Calvin and Hobbes dance, for example, type it in right here. And what comes up is it will use Google to search um, my query. And you don't have to go to www.google.com. You just type it in the box. And then if I really want to see the, you know, the awesome, really cool, well-made um, Calvin and Hobbes dance, there it is. Go back to home. To bookmark or make a page favorite, you have the little star over here. If I click the star, this pops up. And you can click Done. And it's added to your bookmarks. Now, where did the bookmarks go? To access the bookmarks, I can click right here. And... I can go right here to bookmarks and you can see all the different types of bookmarks that you have saved. Um, you can also open up, open up a new tab and a lot of your bookmarks will appear here automatically so you can see here they all are for me as well. The customize and control button over here is one of the more important buttons. By clicking it you have a number of options. Um, one is you have the opportunity to sign in to um, your account and that carries in that carries over all your signing credentials so it'll keep you logged into your Gmail, your calendar, etc. Um, it's very important I encourage you to go ahead and sign in uh, when you're on your own computer um, to Chrome. Uh, you also have different options like viewing your history and by clicking that button you can see all the history, the places that you visited and if you visited a website in the last couple days and you're like, ah, I can't remember how to find it, you can just search through your history to find it. Um, you also have the ability to print. Um, so you can hit print and your print screen will start to pop up. You can also just hit control P and print will appear as well. You also have the ability to open up a, an incognito window. And when you do that, it basically acts as if you're logged out of everything. So you are, it's like opening up a new window that you haven't logged into. And why would you use it? You would use it if you want to stay, like say I want to go ahead and stay logged into my, I don't know, my drive right here where I have all my things listed. Um, but then if I go to drive right here, I will be hit with the login screen um, because I've been logged out of everything. And it's a way of, for example, if I wanted to have two different accounts open up, um, you can have two different accounts open and you can compare. It's like being logged in as two separate individuals. So that covers the basics of the Chrome web browser. Um, there's some other good things in here like, uh, like tools. Um, which would allow you to do things like view your source and fun things like that. But that's more of a, an advanced option um, if you want to kind of geek out over uh, web coding and things like that. Um, so there it is.